All right, and welcome to my very brief tutorial on how to use PicMonkey. You can get it in the Apple Store, and you can also get it in Google Play, and it's available on to be used on mobile and desktop. And today's version, we're talking about mobile usage. Um, first thing it's going to do is ask you to connect to your photos. You're going to allow that, and then you're just going to scroll through and find a photo that you would like to use. Um, I'm going to use this photo over here on the right of uh, this lady holding her ears because her ears are ringing and she's in pain. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit edit. And I'm going to select the edit button and that's going to pull up a lot of features. The very first one I'm going to use is the crop feature. But it's a little bit different than what you're expecting. When you click on the crop feature, what's going to happen is all these different things are going to show up and these are all the preset sizes for different social media. Have you ever put a picture into your social media and you think, oh, this is a great picture. And then when it pops up in your social media, you go like, wait a minute, that's not what I expected, how I expected it to look. Well, it's because it wasn't sized properly. These are all the correct sizes so that you won't have any feature, any problem making your images look great. I'm just going to say, for example, right now that we are selecting this one to um, actually crop for a um, profile image. And if you notice there, you can um, also zoom in and zoom out on the crop and it's gonna keep the proper proportion. So now that I've selected that, I'm also gonna go into adjustments and I just wanna show you those. This is the contrast adjustment that I'm showing you right now. And um, also, I'm just gonna go through these other adjustments rather quickly. Just basically what they are is they're different effects and adjustments that you can um, do by sliding the bar left to right and you're gonna see they're drastic that one took the color out as you slid the bar this one is making it um, very very warm and very very cold that's the temperature setting and then the last one is the blur effect which is really kind of neat you um, position the circle over the part of the image that you want to stay in focus and then everything else as you slide the bar from the left to the right is going to blur so I'm sliding it over and you're noticing her arms are blurring her hair is blurring um, on the lower half of her body and now I'm going to slide it back to the um, left and you notice everything comes back into focus but the whole time her face actually stayed in focus so let's go back now and um, let's just say we're making a post now um, on Facebook so I'm choosing the post image very very similar to the profile um, because they're both square and I'm choosing this um, image and now the first thing I want to do is add an effect and you'll notice all these really cool effects and they have all sorts of neat names like Mercury and Lush, um, Boost, and all I can say is just scroll through them and play with them and see what effects you like and write down the, your favorite effects. Um, you'll find that there's going to be the go-to's that you like a lot. There's some that make them grainy to give a textured look. Um, you know, these actually put shadowing around the edges. You know, this is actually um, black and white, and you can slowly add some color back in. Um, that's kind of neat. Um, a lot of um, just what I just showed you with some of those effects, this is like two and three effects added together at a single click. Um, and then uh, with a slide, you can determine how much of the effect you actually want to use. Um, now that we've done that, um, we're going to also now go to our next tool that I want to show you and that is the touch-up tool. Now I'm not going to go into each item in the touch-up tool but there are a lot of cool things. You can smooth, you can fix blemishes, you can whiten teeth, you can brighten eyes and you can also do nip and tuck and nip and tuck is right down there on the end and that's actually what it says. You can actually make parts of your face skinnier, your arms skinnier, things like that. It's kind of neat. Um, the last thing I want to show you are stickers and there's a ton of different stickers in here and these are what are called overlays. You can actually overlay them on your image but the neatest thing I think that they have in there that you can overlay is you can actually go to your camera roll and overlay um, images other photos. So here we have our image and now we're going to overlay an image. I can make it larger, I can angle it, 
um, just by pinching and zooming um, and twisting a little bit I can angle it and you know do that I think it's great but what I really want to show you that I think is a lot of fun is the fact that you can add text now to your images you can nice have nice images with beautiful looking text with just a very little effort. Here I put in the phrase, what is tinnitus? Really hard to read right now because the colors aren't right. But the other neat thing about PicMonkey is PicMonkey allows you to scroll through all these really great fonts. They have dozens of great fonts um, that are free to use. They have some specialty fonts that you can purchase if you'd like. Then add a color that you like. And then finally what you're going to do is up the top right, choose the check mark to say, yes, I want to save this. It's going to ask you to put it on your camera roll. Um, you'll say yes, put it on my camera roll, and then you're going to click save, and you are done. It's that easy to use PicMonkey. Hope you enjoyed this demo.